Foster children are often the most vulnerable people in society and they should be allowed to stay in care until they're 21 instead of being forced to leave at 18. That's what the Fostering Network says. And it says that it can lead to poverty and getting into trouble with the police if they don't. Zach Jones was fostered and knows just how hard leaving can be. I left Linda's when I was 17. Like, not through choice. I didn't want to leave. I know Linda didn't want me to leave, but through social services, you know, you have to leave. And then I moved out and got a flat. It was quite upsetting, you know, leaving somewhere you lived for 11 years. It was a big step, it was like starting again, really. Trying to pay, like, like organise a building that was rubbish, like, like council tax, like paying the phone bill, gas, electricity. Sometimes I used to miss council tax because I would forget. I suppose I was depressed and I was down, I felt lonely. It wasn't a very nice like, experience to be going through it at uh, 17. Things started to uh, get better when I got a new job. You know, I met Claire. I suggested university to Zach. He had the right qualities to be a nurse. So I was applying for university and I said that he should come with me. I never thought I'd be accepted in university. I thought it was a joke. I didn't get a very good GCSEs, but I worked hard to uh, get my qualifications to get into university. I wish I could have stayed with uh, Linda, my foster mum, because, it, you know, she's made me the man I am today. Well, Zach joins me now alongside Claire Tigel from Action for Children. Good morning to you. So, I mean, obviously, you look at that um, that report there. I, I know you were just spending the entire time saying, oh, the chin's got to go. No, you look great, really do. Um, but, but when you look back at, at leaving uh, what essentially was your home at, um, and being forced to leave at 18, I mean, do you actually remember that day? Yeah, I, I, yeah, I remember it. I got into my flat and, well, well, and I took my suitcase and I got into my flat and I thought, oh, this is it. Me on my own. I, I knew I could go back, but it wasn't the same, you know, going home and then at night time you hear there's no one about, there's no people. Yeah, and, and you felt lonely? Desperately lonely, yeah, desperately, desperately lonely. Yeah. Now, if, if, it, if you had been allowed to stay on till 21, you would have done. And how do you think your life would have been different? I don't know if it would have been different because I was most probably still gone to university, but it, it, I wouldn't have got depressed, you know, and maybe I would have gone to university earlier than, you know, because I'm two years behind. Yeah. You know, the age of what people go to university. And also, you wouldn't have gone into a pickle with the finances. No, I wouldn't, no. Yeah, there was that as well, which would have been would have been helpful. And that's the point, isn't it? Is that actually some people might want to leave at 18, Absolutely. but it's nice to have the option. Absolutely. And I don't know about you, I could certainly not... I would not have left home at 18 and done particularly well. I left home at 17. I didn't mean to, I just accidentally did. But, but, but <laughs> I mean, the, the thing that's really important is that most young people actually leave home at 24, finally. They have one or two or even three goes at it. Um, and yet, for children in care, we expect them to leave much, much earlier. And, and some of them have had some fairly awful experiences, and it's really important to provide them with more support, actually, often, um, than, than, than children who haven't been in care. And we don't often. We fail them, and it's not good enough. Now, Zach says you could have, you could have, gone, you could have gone back to, uh, to, to sort of, like, see Linda. I mean, it wasn't a problem actually seeing Linda, was it? No, I, I used to go and see it all the time, but it's not the same, is it? No, it's you know, not. The they, they, uh, they were told, I was told that I couldn't stay here because um, supported lodgings and foster care don't mix. Yeah. You know, but that's been my home for 12 years. And, and that, that is just, I mean, that's gut-wrenching, isn't it? It's well, it's awful. just silly, isn't it? It's the system saying that there are two different sets of rules. Yeah. You know, what we need to do is to do everything we can to support children leaving care for as long as they need us to support them. And, and actually, for up to 25, if that's what they need, that's fine. That's mm. good. Yeah, the government says it is addressing this issue. Well, they've got, uh, I think they've got, like, ten pilot schemes, I think, so, uh, uh, testing staying beyond yeah, the, the staying the agent. Yeah, the staying put pilots, which, which are absolutely fantastic. Um, Let's hope it's not just 10 pilots. Let's hope that all local authorities decide um, to, to, to take this on and to roll it out because it's terribly important. We're as good as the way we look after our most vulnerable children and, my, and young people, in my view, and this is something that we should roll out right across the country. Political courage, let's do it, let's be brave. Let's leave it there. Thank you very much, Claire. Thank you, Zach, and good luck with studies. Thank you. When do you finish? Two years' time. <laughs> <laughs> you'll, you'll get there.